just going to jump right into why I'm making this video. I'm installing a video card, GPU, graphics card, whatever you want to call it. This is the GeForce GT 610. I'm installing it on my ASUS uh, AMD 16, AMD 18 6700, uh, 8 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte integrated graphics card. The reason why I'm upgrading to a dedicated uh, graphics card, oh, by the way this one has a gig memory, is because I do video editing. No gaming, just video editing. The computer is worlds, worlds faster than what I used to have. But, you know, you buy a fast car, you want it to go even faster. So, I use uh, three video editors. I use Pro Show Gold, ABS, and Filmora. I'm going to uh, test them on how fast they open, on how fast uh, I can load the files and how fast they actually make a movie. I'm using the same movie, probably a five minute movie, and I'm going to time it before I install this, and then I'm going to time it after I install this. Before I do that, I'm going to open this up, show you what it looks like inside, then turn the computer off, go ahead and throw this in, show you how you do that too, and then we'll get to the reason why I bought it. Okay, once again, I'm installing my video card, the NVIDIA GeForce GT610. Um, has a gig of memory. Looking at the back, it says it should improve web, web performance, video, photos, uh, three times faster. And it doesn't say that it's compatible with Windows 10, that's what I'm running. But the guy at Best Buy, that's where I bought this from, he said that just go download the driver if there's any issues. Alright, enough of that. Get my knife out. Go ahead and open that up. Let's see what's up in here. Give it this plastic. Okay, slides out. So you just open the side right here, and there she blows. You just slide that out. It's in here pretty tight. Okay. And oh, okay, uh, when you're installing on the back, you get your little gate, your little gate shield. Comes with a probably uh, well installation disc, and then here's the video card itself. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Comes with a fan, HDMI port. Okay, time to do my test and then uh, I'll show you that. Then uh, I'll show you what it looks like installing one of these. Very fast, very easy, very simple. Alright. Now, here's the back of my computer. There's three screws that I need to take out. This one right here at the top this one right here at the bottom and then on mine I have to take this little screw plate out I have to take this because this pivots out if you've never opened your computer before you might need to just take a knife or some scissors and uh, cut that little tape okay so I'm gonna take those off and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside this sort of looks like on the inside now I have two hard drives but I put this one in this is the one that it comes with Come with this hard drive and then everything else in here you see. So, uh, I just have one slot available. This slot, you want to line the slot up to the empty, well, you want to line this port up to your empty slot right here. So, I'm just going to take my screwdriver, take my screwdriver and just push it in.
Okay, you just push that in and this little piece, it just comes out. Now, you take your video card. Okay, you take your video card and you have to line it up into these slots. As soon as you get it lined up, you'll hear that little click, which I just heard, and then it lines up. Get a better view for you. And it lines up right here, right here where my finger is. This is the top one. If you have an extra screw, like right here, I don't have an extra screw, but that's what this little gate is for that swings open. It will go ahead and keep pressure against the video card so it can't slide out. So you simply make sure that's pressed in, which it is. Close this gate. Put that screw back in and then put it all back together. And now you can see this is where you hook your monitor up. This is where you would hook your HDMI and that's where you would hook your DVI out. That's where you would hook your DVI out. So I'll go ahead and, and then you just install it in reverse, put the three screws back in, one, two, three, and then we'll go back upstairs and plug it back in. Okay, I, okay, I put both the screws back in, both the side screws to the side panel, and then this little swing gate. I didn't take this off, this is just your uh, Bluetooth receiver. So now that it's all together, I'm gonna go back upstairs. Oh, one last thing. The reason why I came downstairs is because uh, we have tile floor and I didn't want to stand on the carpet and build up any static. So that's why I came downstairs. Back to upstairs and hook the computer up. I'm, uh, I'm all done with the results. Uh, I have all the times and even though I did name three video editors, this was not a review on video editors. Those are just the three that I use. This was a review on the video card that I just bought. Now, video cards, they do absolutely nothing to help the processing power of your computer. It's a video card. I knew that going in, but since I was installing it, I said, hey, eh, might as well test it out. I've never tested, uh, tested it that way before. Um, opening the video editors, importing videos, um, converting the videos into movies, a second or two on all of them. All three of them were pretty consistent across the board. They improved a second, maybe two seconds. But where I did notice them was once I was inside the video editor and I wanted to move um, you know, from video one over to video two, to see what the transition would be in real time, effortless, flawless. For that alone, and that's why I got the video card, this thing worked great. This uh, GeForce GTN 610, I'm sorry, this GeForce GT 610 was perfect. Um, I would buy it again knowing the results. Uh, after taxes and everything from Best Buy, it was $42. And, um, oh, it also helped on the internet. When I was in my browser, it the pages did render faster, and uh, the buffering speed I was looking at videos, that was a lot faster. So if you're on the fence about how is a video card gonna help, yeah, get one. Help me, uh, I'm thinking about upgrading to one that has two gigs of memory, but for right now, this is more than enough. I'm happy, and uh, hope that helped, and uh, you have a nice day.